wanted to sell basically my own house. It's been incredible journey. Everything happens for a reason. Bloody hell, it's so much space already. Half of the building is destroyed and left like that. I got loads of plans for this place. I guess if I had the opportunity, I should take it. What should I do? Should I just leave this planet here right now? That's it. It's all empty. Looks a bit different, isn't it? Welcome to the new 777HQ. It's only been a week, but I'm in a new place. Uh, to cut the long story short, I came here in the yard. Basically, I returned to the same place where I've started. Yes, not exactly in this unit, but in the same yard. Um, so yeah, cut the long story short, I have a, well, I had the opportunity because uh, the original plan was, uh, I was so sick of uh, not to be in charge of the place, not basically to do improvements from my own pocket and then basically find out I need to move out. Same as let's say I've done in my previous unit, I've built a nice shiny office uh, where I can chill out uh, and basically that was money in the drain. And the original plan was, uh, you know what, I maybe want a sort of similar yard to myself. Uh, I wanted to sell basically my own house and obviously maybe add a bit more, get a mortgage, whatever, and uh, get a sort of farmhouse with a, uh, with a bit of a barn and just do my own thing. And obviously nothing happens that easy, nothing happens so quick, and obviously nothing was in the market, obviously couldn't sell the house in the same time, so a couple, a couple more months here and there, and somehow, I well, found out that my previous yard, uh, where I used to be before I went to my now last unit, uh, could be bought and now I sat here and you can see obviously my stuff is already behind me it's a bit of a mess but it'll get improved eventually because uh, as I said I've been here only a week and I've done massive improvements already uh, let me quickly show you around the yard but first let me say goodbye to my old yard Welcome back to the channel guys. Welcome back guys. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back guys. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back guys. Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey guys, welcome to Triple Seven Garage. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey guys, welcome back to the last episode in this unit. Boom, boom, anybody here? 
so quiet, so empty. It's basically dead now. So yeah, 2016 August, me and my mate moved in only in this unit. And 2022 August, I'm moving out from all of these three units. Um, it's been incredible journey. It's been incredible sort of ups and ups and downs maybe. Um, I mean, this sort of situation probably, if not this year, maybe next year, it would happen regardless because my sort of business, my sort of hobby, you name it, whatever. It's expanding, I literally have no more space. And uh, it was a matter of time anyway, so, but there was obviously, as you know, there was an issue with the council doesn't let you to work here because this apparently is an agricultural land. So sort of, if you want to work there, tinkering with cars, whatever you do, you need planning permission. So even if you own the land, you own the workshops, you name it, let's, for example, little farm, you got a side workshop, this and that, you can't do stuff like that in here because you don't have a planning permission. Obviously, hobby is different, but I was sort of running business from here six years and, uh, well, for some reason, they didn't like that. They didn't, um, they didn't like the landlord, I guess. I don't know, because he had a mainly issue with them. And obviously, for the whole side, they said, no, this will be only agricultural and you can't do anything here. That's why you need to move out. And um, is what it is. I don't, I don't blame them. But uh, to be honest, now this whole place, it will be just wasted. Even, for example, if I would buy this place, I still can't do anything here. It's just basically, maybe you can repair the tractors. I don't know. Uh, we already put a one tractor on the side. Um, you'll see it in a minute. But um, yeah, it's all literally now, it's all not going to be just a waste of space, to be honest. So if you ever buy a property, depending what you do, do your research, whatever. But I always said, whatever happens, happens for a reason. Let me just walk you through around, see what's what. Right, I still got a couple things to take you with me, like for example, these racking, uh, racking and uh, obviously our banner. Uh, some other small bits and pieces, but maybe a day's job and that's it. So yeah, this was originally my first workshop, then eventually I took over this workshop as well, because this used to belong obviously to landlord, I only was renting that side, and then eventually I needed more space, so he let me have this. So um, as you can see, this is all empty as well. All this stuff on the, on the top, that's nothing to do with me, not mine. And um, then since I bought the Alpina B12, I've took over the third workshop. Uh, it was sort of long-term project sitting there. Then, uh, well, once I finished the welding, the stripping with the Alpine, I've sent to the body shop, I put a e-ferry there, and ever since it's just been sat there, but obviously it's all cleared now. And uh, as you know, last year, May-ish, we built a war, um, our office area, which was a bit of a waste, but well, it is what it is. It was pretty much a couple grand wasted. Uh, we took everything out. Obviously, remember there was a kitchen there, toilet there, and but obviously I'm not gonna take the walls with me, plasterboard, whatever. But yeah, this is gonna stay like that. Obviously, you remember how it used to look, and now it looks like that, but it's all sad, but it is what it is. And as I said, everything happens for a reason. Uh, there is a landlord, uh, landlord stuff inside, so uh, yeah. And the third workshop is there. And yeah, this is, this is the workshop where the Alpina and the e ferry used to sit. Uh, all these tools are not mine, they are landlords as well. So I just use it as more or less long-term projects, well, cutting and welding basically. And 
Well, let's go outside. It's all clear. There is no cars whatsoever. Last car is on the trailer. Skip, skip is to be collected soon. Um, as you can see, Belarus tractor is here already. Apparently doing some maintenance. <laughs> anyway, it's been sat here ages. Well, it used to sat in the field, but he moved it here that we that he's actually doing agricultural stuff. And uh, well, as you remember, from that corner there, all this space was sort of mine. That's where I was literally, there was beamers parked everywhere. Um, as you can see, it's all now empty. I still got cleared up a bit, as I said, but nothing major, but that's it. It's all empty. <sighs> Very sad day. So yeah, let me take you to the new workshop. I stood at the front of the gates of my new yard. It's uh, maybe in the very beginning you're gonna say, um, well, you moved from one scrapyard to another, but this time I'm in control of everything. Where in previous uh, unit I was like, I couldn't do nothing with the stuff behind the, behind the unit and all on the side. You've probably seen it in other videos. There was loads of, shite sitting around literally some random stuff it's pretty pretty much similar situation here but uh, this time i'm in control and obviously bit by bit that's going to be improved so now i'm going to show you all around basically introducing the yard my future plans and uh, well maybe over the next couple months maybe a year or so you'll see the improvements so follow me Right, as you can see, it's a hell of a mess here. Some random static caravans full of shite inside, some random tires. Well, I don't know the whole story regards to that, but this all gonna be scrapped. Um, well, see this barn down there? This is my unit. This is basically how we'll be improving in the next couple of months. That, was, that will be basically my main priority. Uh, and also other stuff uh, we're gonna talk about other side in a minute but uh, yeah the main thing what I want to say I want to clear all this yard basically make a big entrance well big shutter on the front and uh, all these free because this used to be well this used to be uh, three units in one barn but because I'm taking sort of place over I want to take it all take the whole barn i already took one wall out uh, but there is one guy inside who is moving out soonish so once he's moved out i can start taking another wall out and obviously do my own thing but yeah that's the main main this will be sort of my side and opposite side there will be um there will be a uh people who rent out another unit. As you can see, most of my cars are already here. Some of them not mine, but they already was here. I think belongs to this one of the guys who is still in the, this unit. But anyway, uh, many, I think over 10 years ago, maybe a bit more, there was a fire. So half of the building is destroyed and left like that. And uh, my future vision is rebuild that side and make another two or three units. I'm also doing in the same time new electric, new water supply. As you can see, there is a channel digged up. Uh, already done the cables. Uh, still need to do more than bits and that. Call the electrician, do the, all the hookup, and that's done. Because in my unit, we'll have a three phase. The rest of the guys will be single phase. As you can see, uh, half of the building is destroyed by fire it's not really savable well half of it other side is but all the beams are melted don't know how exactly fire happened but uh, well it is what it is so always be cautious with your fire extinguishers on the side and uh, well yeah as you said as i said future plan is to make another three units in here so uh, this starts this side will be stay, stayed rented out and I'll be in my own barn doing my own thing. Um, 
yeah, come forwards. There are already is uh, three, well, one, two, well, four units, which three of three of them is already rented out. The guy's been there for many years. Uh, I'll show you in a minute which unit I used to be before I went to that unit. Um, this side we got cars, well, like a parking space. At the moment there was, well, I've been here only a week. There was a quite a few, like 500 tires, like literally mess everywhere. I already done some improvements just in one week. Uh, obviously uh, there is loads more to do, but slowly, slowly, step by step. Yeah, all this crap needs to go uh, eventually. Uh, I think originally this yard was um, like a farm, a pig farm maybe. That's why you got a concrete higher than, uh, let's say this side concrete is higher than that, but I eventually want to flat that out so it's sort of all nice and level. This is the unit where it's all started. We've been there maybe a couple of years, 2012, 13, 14, and um, I have no access to show you inside, but there is some, I think some stuff inside. But anyway, yeah, there's a, well, it's a small entrance. You got small entrance this side and bigger entrance other side. It's sort of, you go through it. Uh, you can park maybe four or five cars inside. Then you got a little canteen at the front. So yeah, nice little, I think 190-ish square meter unit. So this is where we originally started thinking with BMWs, cars in general. It was all hobby and obviously after in 2016 we moved to that unit and proceeded with my hobby and obviously turned into business and you name it anyway so moving forwards we got another guys well guys who's renting out got another their stuff which eventually uh i told him basically all the car parts which is sort of like doors bumpers and stuff like that either uh basically get them sorted so you when you drive inside the yard it's nice it's the it's basically doesn't look like a scrap yard that's the that was the main thing in my previous unit i couldn't manage it because obviously it wasn't my own place but this time i can sort of manage it and make it all nice and tidy eventually it's not going to happen like that but slowly slowly uh and the guy's saying well uh they completely understand that and they want to see that in the same time because maybe another couple years ago this place was even worse than it is now you just can't imagine what ha used to used to be in this place you just can't can't imagine uh loads of backstories but it's all getting better and better and yeah this is sort of like you see there is a fence at the back uh this is another sort of yard for this unit uh basically you got a unit and a bit of a parking space and this and that um like that's what originally i think it meant to be like uh, every single unit has a their uh, outside space so let's say you got a unit on the side you got outside space on the side so you got a, this sort of end unit and you got some space uh like park car car park space in this side and yeah eventually this corner maybe put some um storage containers uh and I don't know, maybe get them rented out at some point. But uh, yeah, loads of plans. But uh, as you can, as you know, nothing comes that easy. It's sort of slowly, slowly improving things, you know. Um, yeah, so it's sort of like a square, square yard. Uh, I think it's total in two acres. Uh, I personally see it, see loads of potential, but as I said, it needs a loads of work. So. I'll be sort of probably busy for the next five years at least. But anyway, let's show, let me show you my unit where I'll be spending most of the time and obviously my, my future vision. Right, as I said, this will be my unit. Uh, I think it's um, wider than the previous one because uh, in the previous one I had also like in one barn three units, but it was, uh, deeper you could put maybe one two maybe three cars in a row where this in this unit you can put about two cars and maybe fr freely walk on the side i'm not exactly how much square meters inside but i think it's enough anyway have a look 
Right, currently I don't have any electrics in here, but as I said, it's getting sorted SAP. Uh, the ramp over here I sort of bought because them, them ramps in that unit wasn't mine. I, uh, already was there, but this ramp was here and I offered to buy it and I basically bought it off. Anyway, there was, um, there was a wall which I recently took out. Um, there is another wall which eventually gonna taken out as well and obviously you'll have a much more space. But I already feel from a previous unit, you had a like base and them walls were sort of, you, you was thinking, I ah, just too tight. When I took this wall out, I was like, bloody out, so much space already. And you can see, I can widely open a car and you know, I get loads of space. That's the main thing. In the units, garages, whatever, you need, like you're working on cars, you need that space, walk around, don't scratch it and this and that. But as I said, I've been here only a week. There is stuff everywhere which I need to sort out and obviously in the same time doing improvements because I got loads of plans for this place. Um, maybe I'll give you a sneak peek. Uh, once that wall out, the guy is gone in the first unit when basically it's all cleared. I still obviously want to keep the second floor for our storage purposes. And uh, on the first floor, obviously, two two post ramps and maybe two four post ramps for storage purposes as well. In the future, obviously, do the walls, uh, do the lightning main thing for the filming. And uh, obviously, do the floor. This barn originally was like uh, basically was open space with the roof, and that's it. Uh, the walls we got like quite insulated fridge panels and uh, obviously the looks doesn't really look that pretty so I thought I'll put a bit of a plywood inside I already done a couple sheets just to see how it looks and I think that's what I'm gonna do put a plywood sheets and then basically painted it uh, outside maybe do a box profile type uh, uh, covers because uh, Obviously you got, I don't know, like quite thick insulation already just to the roof. And in winter you got warm inside and obviously summertime is quite cool inside. So ideal temperature, that's what you need. Uh, as, so yeah, it's pff, next year or so, I'll be quite busy doing improvements step by step. But maybe first thing, obviously put my stuff in the shelves for time being. And obviously, because in the same time, you need to work to earn money to pay for the materials and stuff like that. Uh, believe it or not, let's go outside, I'll show you. Somewhere in this area, uh, I think 2013, 14, I can't remember. I took a picture of my own BMW 740, yes, my own, the black one and uh, you can see the barn in the background without uh, walls and stuff and um, well the funny thing is like how life turns and I mean I didn't expect it to come back and be in that situ situation but I guess if I had the opportunity I should take it yeah loads 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 stuff to do um, I just, as I said don't know where to start but I'll sort my stuff and uh, basically I'll uh, Got a one ramp already there, which I'll be using for some small jobs here and there. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm obviously gonna do improvements in the place. Well, someone's gonna help me out once in a while, but mainly I'll try to do it myself. Uh, let me know down in comments, would you be interested to see sort of like different playlists, if that makes sense, to how the unit is improving. Uh, as I said, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but hopefully a year or so, maybe less, hopefully, we'll see. We'll see how the financial side and things going, you know, because we are currently, well, I think most of the Europe, maybe the whole world, I don't know. The things doesn't go in the right direction. And uh, it's sort of like, you think, what should I do? Should I just leave this planet here? right now but um, tomorrow is another day so just basically do whatever you have to do and do the thing right so yeah if you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up give your 
expressions, your uh, thoughts on this place, what you would do differently, because um, I do accept sort of uh, ideas, because there is a bit of idea, for example, put a four, power, four post ramp in that corner, two post ramp in here and there, basically have at least three, four ramps. So obviously long-term projects, mid, uh, mid projects, and obviously quick, quick in and out jobs. Um, but yeah, just give your opinion down the po uh, comment below. Uh, it doesn't do any harm. And um, yeah, next time you probably will see, I don't know, maybe this E30. Uh, it's been with me over a year. Uh, now it actually drives itself, but it still needs a couple small bits. My main, main, main task for this one is just two MOT on it. And once it's all running and driving, she can go. But owner sort of not fast whatsoever about how quick or how fast it can be done. It's basically just do your own thing. So it's been backs and forwards here and there. It's always been inside because once we've done the welding, we obviously primed the metal, just didn't want to let, leave it outside to get it rusty or so. After one I'm done, it's going to go to body shop. But that's in maybe next episode-ish. You'll see that. So yeah, guys, enjoy this video. Give us a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.